Steve, I called the show today because my sister Tessa is accused of sleeping with my mom's boyfriend and we need some answers before this amounts to something more than it already has. Growing up, me and Tessa were pretty close. We were the average kids. I mean, we hung out, we had our little tiffs here and there, but we always were there for each other in one way or another. I think if she's sleeping with my mom's boyfriend, our relationship would never be that way and her relationship with anybody in the family wouldn't be because she didn't just lie to my mom and do this big thing, she lied to everybody. It is very possible because my sister has slept with him before and she's very manipulative. I spent a lot of time asking her if she slept with guy, she was very convincing with me, oh I would never do that, how can you accuse me of it, that's disgusting. And then like three years later she comes up to me and says, oh yeah, the guy, but I'm not one over here, so. My mom has claimed to catch them on recordings, that they were sleeping together in the bathroom. If my mom would so much as go to the store, then they would sneak in like a quickie while she was shopping, like everything you could imagine my mom has accused her of. The fights get pretty bad. My mom has kicked my sister out. They're screaming back and forth. They text each other back and forth. They're calling each other sluts. And they're calling each other crazy. And they're just being extra when, when they don't need to be so extra. This is definitely driving my family apart. Like everyone's on separate sides. I did a family get together and there was just fighting through the whole thing. My mom made up stories about my sister during it and then everyone was talking about the drama behind that, that nobody even enjoyed their time together. If she does fail, none of us would be able to trust her anymore. It's, and it's very believable that she would fail. Uh, Linda, that's your daughter, Samantha, on a tape. Uh, yes. How do you feel about what she's saying? Heartbroken because I would bet my last breath they are hooking up. Now, Tessa is hooking up with my current boyfriend. She's done it before. Like, and she lied, lied about everything. Swore my dying mom that she didn't sleep with him, and she did. Why do you think that she would do this to you? <laughs> she hated that I was happy. Because once I'm happy, Your daughter it takes me hated that mom was happy. Yeah, because if I'm happy, I am with somebody else. And I'm the only one that's been there for her through everything. Like, she's evil. <laughs> she's not my daughter. Really? Yeah. Like, you I want mean, I hurt understand somebody. you're hurt. It's, but, like, it's so I can't much imagine that, that someday I would ever make the statement that one of my kids weren't my kid. Well, I am. Look, I just want to back up for a second. So, your daughter's sleeping with your ex boyfriend. Yeah. How did. Did you get definite proof that okay. she finally admitted it? What happened? <laughs> okay, this was in June, which I said from my gut, they did. No, 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 they lied, I'm, I'm insane, I'm crazy, whatever. Then, my mom passed away, had a baby. Day before Thanksgiving, she admitted that she <laughs> And then she said, oh no, mom, I'm sorry, but I had sex with him. <laughs> She's a hoe, I can't help it. Like, I love my daughter, and I, I me saying that she's not my daughter no more is the point where I'm at. My is whole it, family... Is like, it 1997 again? I feel like I'm like on the Springer Show. <laughs> <laughs> Just got transported back in time. She okay, lied so she so admitted long. that she had sex with him. Yeah. Now you're dating another guy. Yes. What makes you think that this guy that you're dating now is sleeping with your daughter. Okay, we're going back to November. He was at home cleaning. I have a camera in the window. I put it on listening to my baby, playing or whatever. Tessa was downstairs playing with the baby. I asked her, I wasn't down there. You hear those two talking? We weren't talking. I don't talk to her no matter what. If you're gonna lie about something so small, you're gonna lie about something bigger. I wanted to have proof, so I put an audio there to listen. I heard, but I didn't wanna finish it. I should have. I should have ended it then. But, and they all said, oh, I, neither one of them wants this to listen to it. This was with the ex? No, this is my current one now. You heard them having sex? Not ha I didn't play it that far. I heard them talking, and you heard Well, why wouldn't you listen to the whole thing? Because I didn't want to. It was too painful. Oh, come on. It was too painful because I trusted him. Like, this is the thing. Like, Are you I don't still trust. with them? 
It depends on the results. Like, if he slept with my well, daughter... Well, but I'm saying you might have had evidence, but you chose not to listen to it. Yeah, because I chose to believe them over myself because I've been through it. And they... Like, I was numb. I became numb. How long numb. you been with this new guy? Two years. Oh, so a long time. Yes. And have you said, hey, did you time sleep with again. my daughter? What's that? Time and time again. I even asked today. And he said, I would never touch that dirty whore. Okay. See, if yeah. somebody called my daughter a dirty whore, I'd punch him in the face. I would be. Tessa said, I wish you were dead. I'm going to go kill dead. myself. Overall, it comes down to she's a liar and a hoe. Like, I I'm sorry, but she is. Steve, I'm here today because I am being accused of having sex with my mom's boyfriend when I am not. And I did make a mistake in the past, but I owned up to it. And... If I can own up to that one, why would I lie about this one? I have not been able to be in my baby sister's life for a year and a half now, and I was always in her life. And it's, it really does make me sad and stuff, because, like, that is my world. So it's like, how are you going to take my own world away from me because you think something? You don't even want to show me proof? She thinks I'm having sex with him everywhere around the house. Like, first it was the basement. Then it was the her bedroom. Then it was like everywhere, even places that I don't even go in. Like, how is that even possible? If I don't even go in that part of the building? Like, I used to always just stay in my room for that reason, because I did make that mistake. So I didn't want her to keep accusing me of this stuff. So I would stay to myself. I even asked her to put a camera in front of me to do anything like that, but she would refuse to do any of that. And then she started texting me, then she started leaving me voice messages. And in these voice messages, She'd be calling me a slut and a whore and all this other stuff. Like, how are you my mom, but you're calling your own daughter like a slut? I swear to God, bitch. I will f the world up. Try me right now. I dare you. You think I'm dumb and insecure over your nasty whore? You ass? Let me tell you something, Tessa. You're nothing but an evil whore. Nobody will ever care about you. They might say I love you or whatever they want to get a f you and your But that's all you're ever worth. That's a message you left your daughter? Yeah, but you only heard that part. You didn't hear what she said well, to me. Well, do I need to hear any other part? You should. Like, That's even the if, thing. Like, okay, you're... even if she did leave you something as vile as you left her... She swore my dead you mom. You her... You are her mother. I tried. <laughs> All right, first off, I was lying. years old. And you slammed my ass like that. I was... Like Are you sleeping with your mom's boyfriend? No. Okay. You, I, you're telling me the truth? Yes. Okay. Uh, when did she start accusing you of sleeping with this boyfriend? It was, like, really close to when he first, they first started dating. Do you think it's because you slept with her other boyfriend? Honestly, it really is because um, she just can't let go of the past. Like, she'll yell at me. What, what made you make the decision to sleep with her ex? Honestly, I was drunk and I was high and every time? I was just no, just the very first time. The very first time. Yeah. And then it was. And then the rest was just like, I did okay. It was wrong. I'm not even gonna lie. Like it was really wrong. But how long were you sleeping with him for? Uh, a couple weeks. Do you regret that that you did that? I really do. I like because. It had a big impact. I didn't think it would be this impacted on it. Yeah. And it impacts the relationship you have with your mom. Yeah, it impacted the relationship that... Before you slept with the ex-boyfriend, mm -hmm. how was your, you and your mother's relationship? Honestly, it was beautiful. Like, Would you I like to get back to that beautiful relationship with your mom? 
Honestly, no. No. I really don't. She crossed way too many lines. Like I know. So I you're you're saved. saying that the, the relationship is it's done. No okay, but what. so like if if that's the case, why are you here to prove anything to your mother? Because I just want to be back in my baby sister's life. That is and, it. And she prevents you from doing that. She does. I don't sleep. Why, why don't you have a seat over here? What's pop? How you doing? Mm, not too good. I'm here. Are you sleeping with Linda's daughter? Hell no. Hell no. Like, no, nah, it was like, in the beginning, like, we was good. Like, everything was good, and she just went macadamia, like, just nuts. <laughs> Next thing, like, camera at this angle, in the back of me, in the drawer, under the dresser, in the hallway. It was more cameras in that house than the state prison I was in. Yeah. What's your feelings uh, for Linda? Like, I love her. You but do love her. She just, like, what happened before, it's like she taking it out on me. Yeah. It's got to, like, also put a strain on you that if you feel like you're constantly being surveilled. Like, yeah, it's like she says she got audio, video. Of what? Like, us. Talking and doing stuff. Do you ask to see the audio and video? Like, she wanted me to sit down and listen to the audio. I'm like, nah. I ain't gonna entertain something that I didn't do. Has Tessa ever came on to you? Nah. She ever flirted with you? Nah. No. I give you so. every opportunity. When this comes out today, I know it in my gut. And you know it. And that's why you were crying the other night. I am going to play now. I'm sorry. Like, you are the one person who is there for me, right? I trusted you. I told you everything. And what did that get me? You. So when these results finally come out, I'm done with you. I want you out of my house. I will live in my car, my car, with my baby. You'll never see either one of us again. And that's a promise. And if I'm wrong, I'll say I'm sorry right here. But I, I want to know, what's wrong with you? See, this ain't me. That's what you don't see. Tessa came here, and she took a lie detector test about sleeping with your current boyfriend's sleep. And we asked her, have you ever had sexual contact with sleep? She answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with sleep? She answered no. Have you ever had sexual relations with sleep in Linda's bedroom? She answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Tessa told the truth. Oh, I don't understand how it's possible, but... Because I never did! Okay, this between us? I'm I don't care. I'm, I'm done with you. Here. I just, it literally just you'll never see your sister again. You. Okay. So we go on to give uh, sleep a lie detector test, and we broke his into two parts. First, uh, concerning Tessa. Have you ever had sexual contact with Tessa? He answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Tessa? He answered no. Have you ever had sexual relations with Tessa in Linda's bedroom? He answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that sleep told the truth. <laughs> Since being in a relationship with Linda, besides the one woman that Linda knows about, have you had sexual contact with any other woman? Uh, sleep refused to answer that question. Since, <laughs> since being in a relationship with Linda, besides that one woman that Linda knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? Uh, sleep refused to answer that question. So, yeah. I, hey, I don't care. Um, yeah. Real love is trusting the person that you're with, right? Exactly. Maybe if your mom gets help, and she becomes a normal person again. Maybe you can have a relationship with her. But I'll, I'll give you a piece of advice too. If you can't be like normal and, and, and even be civil, then you need to stay away from her because you don't need that in your life. And I'm curious, are you going to stay with her? <laughs> uh, I, I don't Maybe know, for man. the time being. I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I wish you both the best of luck. Thanks for coming out. So, uh, can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.